أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone to today's class, class 45. Um, Friday's class, Jazakumullah for arriving on time. Uh, it's Friday, so we will be having our breakout room sessions today. Um, and at five past six, uh, you will, uh, most of you be offered the chance to go into a breakout room. Please do accept that invitation to go to the breakout room. You will be in a smaller group um, and be uh, far more likely to be called to the mic. And today we are going to uh, recite from the chapters that we practiced during the week, as well as um, having a, a go at some of the hard words. Okay, so if I may have a student to the mic to do our opening dua. Yep, assalamu alaikum. Could we have G2181? G2181. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, darling. How are you? I am fine. What is Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking, darling. Okay, so we have this dua that we do on a Friday. Are you able to read that by yourself? I'll try. Okay, then. Dawood and the smear to start off with, okay? A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul alim. Mashallah, mashallah. Very, very nice. Uh, did you know that dua before you started the course? Our Lord, accept from us, for you are all hearing, all knowing. Al Baqarah 128. Well done, mashallah. Very, very nice reading. I was just asking, did you know this dua before you started G2? No. Oh, okay then. Well, you read that very, very well, mashallah. Uh, well done. Jazakumullah for such a lovely opening. Jazakallah. Okay. Allah Hafiz, darling. Allah okay. Hafiz. Okay, so if I now, um, if I may have a student, uh, okay, bear with me for a second. Um, uh, the breakout room coordinator will now open up the breakout rooms. And if you get an invitation on your screen, please uh, accept it. Um, and then you'll be able to go to the breakout rooms. So I'll just give um, everybody a few seconds in order to make their way to the big cat rooms. Okay. So if I can just check with my um, colleague, uh, has everybody gone to their assigned rooms? Uh, the rooms have been opened, uh, but some students haven't joined. Okay, just give them a few seconds to make their way. Just a reminder to those students who've signed in um, incorrectly, if you have your name, for example, there's a Rehan in class, please um, adjust your ID so that it's uh, your assigned ID that you were allocated when you joined the course. If not, you'll be placed into the waiting room um, and you certainly won't be called to the mic. And there's also somebody who signed in uh, with a P number. If you could adjust your ID, please. Okay, so uh, let's not waste any time. Um, if I may have a student to the mic. Could we have G2108? G2108. G2108. Wa alaikum salam, darling. How are you? I'm very good, alhamdulillah. 
Alhamdulillah. Okay, mm -hmm. Sriha. So I just want to ask, we practiced uh, from Al-Fatiha, Al-Kawthar, and Al-Takweer this week. Um, which surah would you like to recite from? Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha. Okay, that's Sriha. So let me get my highlighter. If you start with Dawood and Tasmiya, okay, and read from here and read to the end of this verse to start off with, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Okay, very, very nice. Okay, Sriha, so let me just go through um, a couple of things, okay? This letter here comes from the middle of the throat, and when we say it, we say it like this: Ha, ha. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So when, when you read from here, say Alhamdu. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Mashallah, very nice. Okay, and another thing is here. Okay, Lillahi. Alhamdulillahi. Well done. And then you move on to Rabbil. Rabbil Alamin. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillahi so, Rabbil Alamin. Okay. So I just like you when you're practicing over the weekend to pay a little bit more attention to here, okay? When you go from the ha to the ra. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil. Bil Alameen. Make sure that there's um, not a huge pause, but the two letters are separate, okay? Because when you're reading, it sounds like Lillahil, Lillahir, something like that, okay? Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. One more go, darling. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Okay, very nice. Okay, so if I can now ask you to carry on reading and read to the end of this verse from here. Ar-Rahmanir-Rahim. MashaAllah. And then to here. Malik Yawmiddin. MashaAllah, very, very nice. Okay, sweetheart, so when you stretch the the meme here okay uh you did do it for two seconds but it wasn't exactly the same timing as when you did it here and when you did it here okay try and keep all of your timing consistent so maliki yo middin maliki yo middin mashallah mashallah okay sweetheart so one more time read from Bear with me. From Alhamdu up to the end of here, please, darling. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanir Raheem Malik Yawm Al-Deen Okay, very, very nice, okay? But just pay attention when you are practicing over the weekend, yeah? All your vertical fathers it's a two second timing, but make sure that it's consistent. All of your two second timings should be the same, okay? Okay, that's fine. So let's move on. Read from here to here, darling. Are you still there, darling? <laughs> okay, very, very nice. Okay, so. Um, very, very common uh, uh, things that you've done here. So let me just pick up on them, okay? E, okay? Alif and the ya join, but there's no stretching. It's not an e, e, yeah. Okay, well done. Okay, so let me just let me just clear up my screen for a bit. Okay, there's a lot of highlights going on. So let me just clear this up so you can see 
better. Okay, so here we are. Right, okay. This here, there is an I in here, okay? So it's a very soft letter uh, when you read it. Now, budu. Okay, see her. So just bear with me, okay? Let's just focus on this here, okay? Let's get this correct, okay? Ain. Now, budu. Okay, so when you practice, darling, when you practice, don't make a jerking sound on the ayn, okay? It's a very common error that people make. It's a soft sound that you join with, okay? Now, budu. Okay. Here. Okay, here is wa iya. Iya. Well done. And then here, where the ta is, okay, there's an ayn coming. But you mustn't um, make a jerk on the ta. Nastain. Nastain. Well done. Um, okay, Sriha. Okay, so now repeat with me, okay? Um, we're just going to go through. Okay, my highlighter. Okay, let me just clear it up for a bit so that it's a little bit clearer for everybody at home. Okay, so if you follow with me, okay, and let's just have a go at reading it with the correct pronunciation. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Arrahmanirrahim. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki Yawmiddin Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Mashallah, well done. See so how your reading is very nice, but you may need to make sure that when it comes to the eyes, you don't do any sort of jerking sound. When you do this alif here, make sure it's e, alif, a clear sound. Don't make that into an ayn, okay? And especially here, don't do a jerk on this da. Nasta in. Mashallah. Okay, Sriha, Jazakumullah for coming to the mic. Okay, just keep a, an eye out on your timings and the pronunciation of your eins and your alifs. Okay. Um, okay, Sriha, so you've had five minutes and we'll move on to another student, inshallah, next time. Okay. Okay, Allah Hafiz, darling. If I may have another student to the mic, please. Yeah, to PFG2248. G2248, Aslam Lekum. G2248, Aslam Lekum. I'll choose another student. Could we have G2246, please? G2246. G2246. Another one, G2240. Aslam Lekum. Oh, that's G2246. Okay, Aslam Lekum, darling. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, very well. Jazakumullah. So, you have, what would you like to recite from? Al Fatiha, Al Kawthar, or Al Takbir? I don't mind. Um, okay, so let's go to Al Takbir. Okay, and I would like you to do Dawood and Tasmiya and then read from, uh, mm. let's read it from here to here to start off with. Okay, Dawood and Tasmiya to start off, please. 
Okay, so so stay stay there for a second, darling. Okay, um, your ein. Let's work on the pronunciation. Okay, ein comes from the middle of your throat. If you put your fingers on the middle of your neck, okay, that's the way place where the sound should come from. Okay, Isha. Isha. Okay, so ein. Ein. Well done. Exactly. That is exactly the right sound. Okay. So now we're going to put a kasra with it. Risha. Risha. Okay. So something that you're going to have to work on. Okay. The ayn comes from the middle of the throat. And then uh, when you read it, make sure that's where it comes from. Okay. Same thing here. Ayn and ta are going to join. Utilat. Utilat. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay, so one more time. Wa idal risharu utilat. Wa idal siya. Okay. Wa idal. Wa idal. Well done. Wa idal risharu utilat. Va is a isha root root Well done. Okay. So the rest of those were fine. If you now read from here to here. Va is a biha root Mashallah. Very, very nice. Okay. Carry on to here. Va is a no foo Mashallah, very nice. Okay, so, you have, so when you read here, this is a wild mouth, and you stretched it out for two seconds, which was very, very nice. But here we have a noon mashadat, and you should also do a gunna sound for two seconds here as well. The timing on this noon gunna. Okay, should be two seconds and it should be the same um, timing as with the mud. So when you read this, do it like this. Mashallah, very, very nice. Okay, when you get your timings um, consistent, your recitation starts to sound very, very nice. Okay. Okay. So let's carry on. Read to here. Va is a mo uda tu su ilat. Okay. Again, very nice reading. Okay. You did a very nice timing on this wa mud. Two seconds. Okay. But this inverted dhamma also requires two uh, seconds. So if you can get that timing and this timing to be the same, it will sound really nice. So repeat with me, darling. Wa idal maudatu suilat. Wa idal maudatu suilat. Okay. Maudu. Maudu. Well done. Maudatu. Maudatu Suilat Suilat Well done. So have another go from the beginning of the verse. Va is a mudatu suilat. Well done, well done. Okay, so Suiha, repeat with me. Okay, let me just clear up here. From here. Va is a risharu utilat. Va is al isharu 
Dilat. Wa ida wuhu shu hushibat. Wa ida wuhu shu hushirat. Okay. Wuhu shu. Wuhu shu. Wuhu shu hushirat. Wuhu shu hushirat. Mashallah. Wa ida biharu sujirat. Wa ida biharu sujirat. Wa ida nufusu zubijat. Wa ida nufusu. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Wa ida nufu. Wa ida nufusu. Zurvi jat. Well done. Wa izal mau datu suilat. Wa izal mau. Mau, mau, mau. Stop, stop, Ali. Wa izal mau. Wa izal mau. Zatu suilat. Okay. What is this letter? Ta. Dal, okay, dal. So the tip of your tongue touches just inside of your front two teeth. Dal. Dal. Okay. Wa idal mau datu su ilat. Wa idal mau datu su ilat. Mashallah, very nice. So you hope your reading is very nice. You just need to work, um, like most of us do. On your timings okay whenever you do two second timing on your mud that's the same timing that you should do on your noon wuna and on your vertical strokes and your inverted strokes okay and if you can get your timing consistent your recitation will sound really really nice okay 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 very nice to hear from you assalamu alaikum if i can have another student on the mic please Allah Hafiz, darling. Like Allah. you're welcome darling could we have G2227? 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 Okay, could we have G2228? 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 Could we have G2112, please? G2112? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so you're going to have to speak up a little bit because I can barely hear you. Okay, so um, uh, what to do here? I, I can barely hear you, so I don't think anybody else can hear you either. Um, one more time, darling. Speak up really loudly. Okay, um, sweetheart, I can't hear you properly, so unfortunately I can't listen to you. Uh, we'll try you again later on. Maybe um, you could uh, change your device, use your mom's phone or something like that instead, okay? Okay, if you could have a different student, and yeah. we could come back to this one later. Okay, sure. Could we have G2110, please? G2110. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, darling. Oh. Uh, okay, bear with me for a second. Um, where has my screen gone? I'm not sure what you are talking. Uh, okay, bear with me. Okay, so you have, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, then. Uh, fantastic. Sorry, my computer suddenly switched <laughs> switched there. Okay, so, you have, so what would you like to read from? Al Fatiha, Al Gawthar, or Al Takbir? Okay, well done. Okay, then, sweetheart. So, if you could do Dawood and Tasmiya, okay, first of all. Okay. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay, sweetheart. So I would like you to read from here to here. Okay. 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 Ok
to hear first of all, please. Okay. Mashallah, very, very nice. Um, okay, just one thing or two things I'd like to um, point out to you. This first letter here, Saad, okay? When you read it, um, round your mouth and raise your tongue a little bit. Saad. Saad. Mashallah, okay? So when we do the gasra underneath, we say Sui. 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 Well done, okay. Here with this atta, okay, is a very common um, uh, thing that I hear when people reciting, okay? It's a ta, but there's no jerk, okay? Mustaqim. Mustaqim. Mashallah, very nice. Okay, so now read from here, darling. Yes. Allah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Carry on Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Well done, carry on Malakim Yawmadin. Okay, read this particular verse one more time, darling, from Maliki. Malakim Yawmadin. Okay, then. So, sweetheart, let me now, let me just clear my screen for a little bit so it becomes a little bit clearer. Okay. Otherwise, it becomes very distracting. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, from here. Ma. Ma. Liki. Liki. Ma. Liki. Ma. Liki. Well done. Yo. Yo. Well done. Let's put it together. Ma. Liki. Yo. Maliki yo Middin Mid Well done. So all together Maliki yo Middin Maliki yo Middin Okay, very, very nice. Okay. When you join this Mushadda Dal. Middin. Middin. Very, very nice. Okay, then, sweetheart. So, one more time. Okay, let's do it from the beginning. Okay. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. Okay, very nice. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Maliki Yawmiddin. Well done. Okay, so you read by yourself from the next one to the end of this verse here. Iyakana budu wayakana stream. Okay, okay, this is a noon, darling. Yeah, in. in. Well done. Okay, so let's read this verse. Okay, let me just clear up the screen a little bit. Okay, from here. Iyaka. Iyaka. Okay, try and smile as you say the yeah, okay, so that it comes out a thin sound. Iyaka. Iyaka. 
Na'budu. Na'budu. Oh, almost perfect, almost perfect. Na'budu. Na'budu. Mashallah. Wa iyaka. Wa iyaka. Okay. Wa iyaka. Okay, so this time you got the Alif Mad timing just right, okay? But you rush through the Ya Mushadad. So let's get that perfect there. Wa iyaka. Wa iyaka. Nastarim. Nastarim. Okay, so you have, it might be my hearing, but when you come to the end here, it sounds like you're reading a meme, but this is a noon, okay? So make sure you do a noon sound at the end. Okay, your reading is very nice. Your voice is very, very beautiful. I uh, really love it to hear. Uh, what you need to work on is um, a couple of things, okay? Is um, like with most people, fine, okay? Make sure that you don't do a jerk on this. Okay, and then your timing. When it comes to joining this mushadad letter, okay, to the alif, just e, e, and then the alif mad ada e yeke. Make sure your timing stays properly, okay. And another thing that I picked up on, if I can just get my highlighter to behave, is here. Okay, this is a, a few students have done this. This meme. You don't um, spend any time on it, okay? You don't do ham, hamdu, okay? It's just a ha, ma, and then you move on. Alhamdulillahi. Okay, so your reading is really, really nice. You just need to work on your timings most of all, okay? Make sure all of your vertical strokes are two seconds and that um, uh, all of your muds are two, uh, two seconds and your short strokes are one second. And like with most people, work on your ayn, okay? It's very common in this surah, especially um, ayn and alif tend to get mixed up. Jazakumullah for coming to the mic, darling. Allah hafiz for now. Okay, if I can have another student to the mic, please. Yeah, could we have G2130? G2130, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, darling? Alhamdulillah, how are you? I am very good, Jazakumullah. So, Suha, what would you like to read from Al Fatiha, Al Kawthar, or Al Takfir? Uh, I'd like to read Al Kawthar, please. Okay. Would you like to read it from memory or from the screen? Uh, from the screen, please. Okay. All right. So, let's just bring that up. Just give it a second. Okay then, so she had Dawood and Dasmiya, um, and just read uh, from the beginning. Okay. A'uzu billahi min shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, inna a'tayna kal kawthir, fasallilli rabbika vanhar, Inna shani akahu wal abdar. Okay, very nice reading, very nice reading. Um, okay. When it came to here, okay, the fa, sa, la, la, okay, this bit here, okay. Read me again from the fa to the la. Okay. Fa, sa, lili. Okay. So let me get rid of that, okay. This is a fa with a, um, a fatah on top. So you read that very, very nice. Okay. This sod and this lam join, and you did that very nicely for soli. Now, the next lam has a kasra underneath it, but it has no tashti, it has no sukun. So it's not going to join with the previous um, uh, lam. Okay. What's okay. happening here? Okay, in case you're getting confused, is this uh, this tashtid on top of the lam means that this lam is going to join to this sod. That's all it means. It doesn't mean it's going to join to the next one. This tashtid indicates that this lam is going to join to the sod. So when you read this, you have to read this as 
Fasalli, then li rabbi. Okay. So one more time, this verse. Fasalli, fasalli li rabbi ka van har. Mashallah, mashallah. Very nice, okay? Because it's the two lambs together, you have to move your tongue um, to the same place twice. And that's why it's becoming a little bit difficult. But um, uh, otherwise, your reading was very nice there. Okay, so here, this is a Hamza. Ni aka. Ni aka. Ni aka. Ni aka. Well done, okay? So read this verse here, please. Okay. Inna shani aka hu wal abtar. Okay, very, very nice. So see how your reading is really, really nice. Uh, the thing that I would pick up on is you're making everything slightly, um, you're not making the thin sounds as thin as you could do. Smile when you do the thin sounds. So, for example, when you're reading from here, in a share, okay, in a share, ni a in a share, ni a who will abater. Okay. So have one more go from from this verse. Okay. In a share, ni a who will abater. Okay, that was really, really nice. Really nice. Sounded very nice. Okay, but this time you didn't do the kalkala on the bar. Okay, because you were focusing on the thin sounds. And so you didn't... One more time. Inna shani akahu wal abtar. Mashallah, very nice. Okay, so you had, that was really, really nice. Uh, let me ask you to read... Uh, one of these words, okay. Uh, did you have a particularly uh, one of these words that you found very difficult? Yes, the third one, the top third one. Oh, oh, this one here. Yes. Okay. All right. Then. So let's have a go. Okay. You read, and then I'll help you afterwards. Okay. Uma mim mim mam mam maaka. <laughs> Mashallah, that was really, really, really nice. Okay, so yes, there's lots of mim, 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 mims going on, isn't there? Let's do it slowly, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Uma. Uma. Okay, now this meme and this meme are going to join. Uma, mim. Uma, mim. Well done. Now this meme and this meme are going to join. So this is going to be mim. Mim. Okay, so now let's go back to the beginning and work our way to this meme. Uma mim mim. Uma mim mim. Well done. And now this meme is going to join to this meme. We're going to ignore the noon, okay, because there's a meme mushada that the, the shtid um, takes over. So okay. this becomes mum. Mum. Well done. So now let's go back to the beginning and Read up to this meme. Uma mim mim mam. Uma mim mim mam. Well, well done. Yes, well done. And then the aka at the end. So uma mim mim mam ma aka. Uma mim mim mam ma aka. Mashallah, perfect. Exactly how it should be read. Uh, really, really uh, nicely read. Just need to take um, a little bit of time as you read it, and that's all. And I wasn't laughing at you when you were first reading it, but I know when um, even adults, when they're reading this, um, just lots of mum, 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 and then you lose track as, as to how many you've done. Okay, so just keep your eyes focused on what you're reading and take it as slow as you can, and then that way. Uh, you could practice. Reading is really nice. You just need to work on, um, as I pointed out on here, uh, try and make your sounds thinner. And when you do, uh, your reading becomes really quite, quite sublime. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Jazakumullah for coming to the mic. Allah Hafiz. If I can. Have another... Allah Hafiz. Um, and before we have another student to the mic, if there's anybody who has done a memorization of Al Kawthar, um, I'd love to hear. Uh, from you as well. So if there's anybody who's done a uh, memorization, um, could they raise their hands and we can call you to the mic. So if I just lower all the hands for now, okay, and 
um, anybody who's done HIFs of uh, al Kawthar, if they raise their hands and we can listen to those. Okay, so we've got, um, if I can ask my colleague to choose a student. Yeah, could we have G2109? G2109, Asalaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. How are you, darling? I'm good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, very well. Jazakamullah for asking, darling. So, sweetheart, would you like to read Surat Al Kathar from memory? Yes. Okay, then, that would the be to start off with, and then you carry on. Uh, Mashallah, mashallah. Very, very nice reading. Um, really nice. Your pronunciation is really nice. Uh, your thin sounds were really nice. Your timing was really nice. Everything was really nice. Lovely pace. Um, just one thing that I would, if I could just bring that back up. Okay. Here, uh, here. Okay. When you were reading there, I felt um, that you could just maybe improve this a little bit, okay? The alif and the ayn. Ah, doi. Ah, doi. Well done, okay? And when you do the to, okay, try not to do the doi, okay? Because it's um, that's uh, it's not quite the way that Arabs would read it, okay? Doi. Doi. Well done. Otherwise, your reading was really, really nice, okay? It just here work on getting the alif and the ayn together just right, okay? Ah, day. Ah, day. Very, very nice. Okay, sweetheart, so let me take you to, uh, okay, actually, let me take you to, okay, so if you can read from the grief, uh, from here to here for me, please. Muto Sama Amin Wama Sahibukum Bima Genuan. Mashallah, very, very nice. Um, really nice. Okay. Um, so something that I wouldn't necessarily to say to a G2 student, but your reading is actually quite developed. So let me just say that when you come to this meme, okay, it's a rule that we haven't taught um, in G2, but when you come to this meme, uh, there is a bar coming and there is a rule whereby you need to just take that meme and stretch it out a little bit. Okay. So when you read Okay, make the meme blend into the bar. So have one more go in this verse here, darling. Mashallah, very, very nice reading. So Suha, let me take you to the hard words. And was there any particular word that you found um, particularly difficult? Um, uh, the first one on the left. Okay, so this one here? Yes. Oh, okay, all right then. So have a go and then I'll um, help you afterwards. Mashallah, that was perfect. Um, perfect. Your timing and uh, your recognition of all the sounds that you needed to make were perfect. So that was fine, darling. Have a go at reading this one here. Okay. Mashallah, very nice. Okay. So the reason that this particular word is in here is because there's a hamza at the end here. 
and there's another Hamza here, okay? The first Hamza, the one with the Sukun, has a jerk on it, which you did really nice. But the second Hamza doesn't have a Sukun, it has a Dhamma, and there's no jerk. And it's very easy when you're reading to do a jerk on both of them, uh, which is something that you just did, okay? So when you read, do it like this. Min humalu lu. Min humalu lu. Mashallah, mashallah, very nice. Okay, so make sure that when the Hamza has a sukun that you do do a jerk, but when it doesn't, you don't. Okay, and that's um, okay. that's the thing that I picked up on that. Jazakumullah for coming to the mic, darling. Um, reading is very nice. Carry on practicing. Um, uh, Aslam alaikum for now. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so we've got hands up still. Um, if we can have another student to the mic, please. Could we have G2216, please? G2216, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam, Dali. How are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm also very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So you had your hands up. Um, have you memorized Surah al Ghazal? Yes. Okay, would you like to read it for us? Yes. Okay, so I'll just bring that slide up so that we've got something. Okay, this you have Dawood and Tasmiya, and then you go for it. Billahi min shaitan rajeem Bismillahi rahman rahim Inna ta'ina kal kawthar Fasallil rabbika wanhar Inna shani aka huwal abtar Mashallah, mashallah. It's, uh, it's such an achievement, isn't it? When you can do it all from memory. Very, very nice. So let me um, just do that. Uh, let me just give you a couple of um, things to feed back on, okay? When you were reading here, there is a noon hunasad on this mushadad noon, okay? For that's for two seconds. And then this mud here causes the stretch to be at least three seconds, okay? So when you read this, do a minimum of two seconds on this noon huna and a minimum of three seconds on this mud, okay? In a well done okay now when you were reading here okay uh okay have another go read for me just those letters there mashallah very nice when you first read it um when i heard this lam you did it lay um which is not the Arabic way of saying it, okay? But when you read it just now, it was just right. For so li, okay? So it's a li. Whenever there's a kasra, there's a li. Uh, we don't say le. Um, okay. The only other thing that I would pick up on is try and make your sounds thin, okay? So when you're doing here, for example, a mud on the sheen, share, just smile as you do that because that would make the sound thinner. Um, and the same with, uh, for example, on the gaff. When you read the ga, just smile, ga, as opposed to ga. Okay, and that would really beautify your recitation. So have one more go um, at reading from the from the page, and let's just see how it sounds. Inna a daina kal kausar. Fasallili Rabbi Kaw Wanhar Inna Shani Aka Huwal Abatar Mashallah, very, very nice. Okay, sweetheart. So uh, the feedback I would give you is just work on the timings, okay, um, on your Mushadad uh, Noon here, okay. Um, and the timings here. When there's two seconds here, and do at least three seconds here. And make your sounds thin, if you can. Okay, so let me ask you to read from the Gvir, at the Gvir. Um, and if I can ask you to read, 
do, 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 do. Give a second. My... Read from here to the end of this verse here. Wama huwa bi kauli shaitan nirajim fa ay fa ayna taz habu. Mashallah, really, really nice reading. Really, really nice reading. Um, perfect. In fact, I uh, really enjoyed listening to that. Okay, let me take you to hard words. Any particular word that you find particularly difficult? Uh, I found the uh, last one quite hard. What, this one here? Uh, no, the one on the right. Oh, here, this one here? Yeah. Okay, so let's have a go then, okay? You read and then I'll help you afterwards. Lah wallata. Okay, so you've done that very nicely. Um, what did you find difficult? The part I found difficult is that joining the lam and the ta. Okay, all right then. So, um, step by step, okay? La. La. Well done. Wal. Wal. Let's now join. La. Wal. La wal. Now the lam and the ta are going to join. The alif will get ignored. Okay. La. La. Well done. La walat. La walat. Well done. And then the fat on the top. Ta. Ta. La walat. La walat. Well done. La wallata hodnahu. La wallata hodnahu. Okay, so let's just try and make the um, transition from here um, smoother. La ta hod. La ta hod. Well done. La wallata hodnahu. Lah wallata khaznahu. Mashallah. Um, very nice reading. Very nice reading. Um, the only thing I think you might need to work on is when you move from the ta to the ho. I think the everything else was just fine. Lata khod. Lata khod. Well done. Lah wallata khaznahu. Lah wallata Mashallah, very, very nice. Okay, so, uh, Jazakumullah for reading that um, and Allah Hafiz for now. Khuda Hafiz, Jazakallah. Jazakumullah. Okay, so we are now coming to the end of our class um, uh, and your homework for the weekend. Uh, we cover Surah Al Fatiha, Surah Al Kawthar, and Surah At Takbir. Um, and we completed those except for Al Fatiha. We've got one more verse on that to do. Um, so over the weekend, if you can practice, and from what I heard, um, uh, very, very nice reading, but Al Fatiha does need um, practice. Uh, and the reason for that is that many of us um, learn it by um, hearing our elders say it. So if there's any errors, they get passed on. And that's one of the reasons why we're going over this particular chapter so that you can see how the rules uh, get applied and then you can correct this particular chapter. Because after all, we do read that in every single Salat. Um, so if you can practice um, those three chapters, it's a fair amount of reading to do over the weekend, um, but just do a few verses at a time. And I always find if you do it after every namaz, it soon gets covered. For extra practice, practice the hard words. Take it step by step, um, one letter at a time, and join them as you go along. If you have memorized Surah Al Gawthar, okay, um, then uh, it's important that you keep it in your memory because um, it can um, you can forget it very very easily. So if you have memorized it, read it three times whilst looking from the the Gramajid, uh, before going to bed. 
And then when you wake up in the morning, once you've done your ablutions and you've got yourself ready, read it again three times. And then during the course of the day, try recalling it from memory. And if there's nobody around to listen to you, you can maybe record it onto a phone um, and then see if you've made any, um, if you've forgotten anything. So if you've memorized it, keep it in your memory uh, by practicing it again and again um, over the course of the weekend. Reading it just before you go to bed is a really good idea. Um, it uh, embeds itself into your brain. And then if you read it in the morning, it refreshes. And these are the hard words that we covered during the course of the week. And if you need um, practice, uh, please do so. If there's anything uh, that you are particularly finding difficult, please do know that you can email us um, and the WhatsApp group, uh, although you can't post on the group, your parents can message the in charge directly. So if there's anything you want to bring to our attention, please do so. Um, uh, and we welcome feedback. Okay, so now that we've come to the end of our class, if I now, um, yes, uh, if I read the dua, and then um, if everybody can just follow with me at home. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem, bismillahi rahman rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil quranil azim. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the great. Jazakumullah for attending class. Inshallah, you've learned something and we've been of help. And for now, until Monday, I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.